Saudi Arabian Peninsula is home to some of the most extreme deserts in the world. It's also home to thousands of miles of beaches. In fact, the peninsula's coastline is about three times the length of the coastline of California. And those beaches are where some of the most incredible animals on the planet follow their ancient instincts to continue the circle of life. Take a look. Welcome back to Arabia, where we are now hitting a different sandy landscape. Green turtles use the cover of Arabia's night to dig their nests. The depth and position is critical. It needs to be deep enough to protect the helpless eggs, but it also determines the gender of the babies inside. Closer to the sea, an incubation will be cooler, producing more male hatchlings. Farther up the beach, the eggs will be warmer, and they will hold more females. Having incubated for around two months, a clutch laid earlier in the season begin their epic journey. Darkness provides a cloak of safety as they follow the natural light of the horizon to the sea. Arabia's dawn first breaks on the eastern shores of Ras al Had. As the last expectant mothers return to the sea, predators take to the skies. They comb the beach for any hatchlings that didn't escape under the cover of darkness. With sunrise, hunters have a greater chance of finding food. Within minutes of surfacing, the late youngster races for its life, but is totally exposed. The lure of scavenged eggs distracts the predators from their quarry and gives the youngster a chance to make a break for it, the equivalent of a human kilometer to the water's edge. Yet with estimates of only one in a thousand making it to adulthood, facing the uncertainty of the Arabian Sea his greatest trick may still be in front of this little turtle tot.